5.58 p.m., about five minutes from sunset, and I'm here at the seawall in Georgetown, Guyana. Unfortunately, it's awfully cloudy, so I don't think there's going to be much of a sunset, but uh, I'm 1.4 miles from the Marriott, which I can actually see in the distance. I don't know if you can make it out here because it's probably too far, but it's the, there's two like tall buildings down at the east side of the Damara River where it comes into the uh, Atlantic Ocean here. And Michael and I are staying in the Marriott. And then next door there's a circular building called the Pegasus Hotel. So 5.59 now, I think sunset is 6.03 or 6.04. So I'm just going to take a little walk here. It's a uh, popular promenade in uh, Georgetown to uh, come hang out and enjoy the sea breeze and uh, do some people watching and whatnot. Probably uh, running down a little bit now with it being so close to sunset. Sadly, we've got all kinds of garbage piled up here, which is just really sad to, uh, to see along the, well, there's not really a beach, it's, this is a man-made wall, of course. I think I read that it runs for some 280 miles along the coast of Guyana, which is quite amazing to think that they constructed a seawall 280 miles long. Uh, I'll have to double-check that stat, but I'm pretty sure I read that. So, I mean, it's not just here in the city, but it runs all along a good portion of the Guyana coast. Uh, as you can see, there's obviously no beach here, and a lot of Georgetown, he, the capital here, actually sits below sea level. And so this was a necessity to protect the city from flooding. park over this way. I was hoping to see people playing cricket somewhere on my stroll around town today, but I did not run across that. And I can't quite tell what's going on. It looks like soccer happening over there. almost as high as I've ever seen it. I think 79 in Vietnam was the highest that I ever saw. Oh, we have some kind of a monument over here. If I had more time before sundown, I'd go over and check it out, but uh, I don't, so I'm going to keep walking. I don't know if I'm going to walk all the way back to the hotel or, or <coughs> walk halfway and take a taxi. I don't know. We'll see. I can see the hotel, so it's not that far. It's good exercise. I think I've walked about six miles so far touring Georgetown. But yeah, there's definitely uh, a lot of people hanging out here. It's uh, too bad they don't have a, I really have a beach because it must suck to live here in the, the tropical Atlantic Ocean and not really have any beaches. They're right by our hotel, there's what looks like a man-made, tiny white sand beach. Not part of the hotel, public, uh, actually, it's outside the hotel compound. But Guyana and where I was uh, before in Suriname, I uh, just, uh, they don't have any natural, beautiful beaches uh, facing directly north here for whatever reason. 
obvious there's no coral reef that grows along the coastline here so if you don't have a coral reef and you don't have fish eating polyps or whatever it is they eat from the coral and then poop <laughs> that's how all the white sand is formed I don't think a lot of people know that but if you're sitting on a white sand beach and thinking how beautiful it is you're actually enjoying a enormous pile of washed up fish poop <laughs> which is so funny but hey that's the way nature works so. traffic congestion here along the seawall avenue Ooh, something smells i don't know what these things are it's like some really ancient satellites or antennas of some kind it's a very interesting capital here at georgetown definitely not the prettiest city in the world but uh, the brought guidebook that I have on it seems to uh, really say a lot of negative things. Well, obviously this is negative here, seeing all the uh, trash along the seawall. Um, but there's also been a lot of positives. Uh, haven't been anywhere where I, where I felt uncomfortable about uh, crime, which is supposed to be high. Maybe it's relegated to certain neighborhoods and uh, drug dealers, I don't know, but uh, it's been a great day wandering around. Michael came with me for the first two miles of exploring and been headed back to the hotel because he just wanted some time to chill out, which would be nice, except we're only here for two and a half days, and tomorrow we have a four or five hour tour flying into the interior to view uh, the most beautiful waterfall in the country. Which is called Kayator Falls. We were supposed to be on a tour today where we flew to Kayator Tall, Kayator Falls on a small Trans Guyana Airways plane with 13 seats, I believe. And then we were going to fly from there all the way down to the Brazilian border to visit another waterfall called Ordenuk. And our tour was confirmed a, a week ago. They need 11 people minimum to run the tour, I guess, to make it profitable. And then they got the 11. We're all set to go. We get here yesterday, and yesterday afternoon, just as we're settling into the hotel, Michael gets an email from our travel agent that the tour has been canceled because a group of six people canceled at the last minute. And I still don't understand how that works because I'm pretty sure that uh, documents we signed said that the tour booking was non-refundable. And anyway, oh, my alarm's going off. It is sunset time, 6.07. But sadly, no sunset to see because it's all cloudy. But anyway, it's still a nice way to wind down the day of touring. And I think I probably ju will uh, just walk back to the hotel at this point because it's a straight shot. I can see it and it's nice walking along the ocean, even though it's very interesting. I've never really seen the ocean as brown colored before. And I don't, you can't really see it now because there's not a lot of sunlight or any sunlight directly, but uh, we can see it from the terrace of the hotel and the ocean comes in here and it's, it's brown like a river. <laughs> uh, I don't just don't think I've ever seen that before. It's certainly not the <laughs> prettiest ocean color that you've ever seen. And my only guess is that there are so many rivers that flow from the jungle interior north and empty out into the Atlantic, like the Damara River on the other side of the hotel, which Georgetown is built around. And my only guess is that the north flowing rivers must just carry so much uh, sediment and mud and whatever else into the ocean that the water along the shore, at least here near the output of the uh, Damara River is uh, 
just full of sediment and comes in looking brown. Hopefully that's the explanation that it's nature doing it and that it's not because of pollution. I, I don't know. All right, well, this is probably enough of this video here. Uh, 6.09 at this point. I think I can get back to the hotel before twilight ends. So, and the, uh, clearly the center of the uh, activity was back that direction. Uh, not much going on here now. A few people hanging out here and there. But I hope you've enjoyed the walk along the Georgetown seawall.